Hey, what's up, Disc Golf fam? Hey, I hope everyone's having a great season so far. Since the last video I've put out, I've been to several tournaments, and one of them was the Dynamic Discs Open, where I actually got to go to the Disc Dying Academy and see a bunch of really cool artists and their work and uh, attend some of the classes where they share their techniques. I've got some permission from some of them, and uh, I wanna share some of their techniques with you. Um, today's video is gonna be all about cells, that was the reason that I started dyeing discs in the first place because I think cells on a disc look super cool. Um, so we're going to go through today and look at some different techniques and share some tips and tricks that I've picked up uh, along the way as well. Okay guys, hey, let's jump into materials. I'm gonna keep it specific for things that you're gonna need just for the, the cell technique or the different techniques that we're gonna use. Um, before we go any further, I wanna point out, again, this is none of, none of this is original content. I didn't come up with any of this. This is pulled from various sources, mainly from the artists at DDO um, for that, the Dye Academy. Um, so I'm gonna share what they have figured out that works for them. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's with their permission as well. I'll give them shout outs and links to their YouTube or Instagram as we go. Okay, uh, there's a bunch of ways to do this, guys. Uh, not one technique is better than the other. Um, I'm gonna show you what I like and the, a couple of the ones that have given me the best results. Um, if you look on Google or whatever, people are gonna say, hey, use glue or use Floetrol or, you know, there's a, a bunch of ways. I'm looking for ways where I get very defined cells on my discs, but, you know, cells that also mix in their colors and this is what I'm going for, so this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Okay, so Floetrol. It's a paint additive, a latex paint additive. It gives you better brush strokes. Um, you're going to need it because that's the, the basis of how we get cells. You get cells just by using Floetrol, but to help, we're going to use some type of silicon oil. This is artist's loft that you can buy from some local stores. Um, it's a, like I said, silicon oil. It's a very thin uh, oil, but it does give you cells. This is dimethicone, which is what one of the guys from the uh, Dying Academy was using. It's much thicker, um, but I really like it. Some people use WD-40 or other things to help them get cells. These ones are made specifically for the acrylic pouring um, and for us, you know, for creating cells on our discs. So those are the ones that I like to use. Okay, uh, for our dyes, I really like ProChem, guys. Um, if you're looking on their website, it's uh, active dispersion is the type of dye that you're gonna use. They have a section on there that is four disc golf dyes. If you didn't know, ProChem was actually the comp one of the companies that sponsored the Dying Academy at DDO. So they're very supportive of the disc golf community. Um, and they, like I said, they have one specifically for disc golf. Um, but if you don't navigate to the disc golf section on their site, you want to, to get the active dispersion dies. Um, you can use a bottle. I'll show you one technique where you do need a squirt bottle and I'll show you the, the ratios of stuff that I mix with it. One of the techniques uses glue as a base, um, but for most of the other ways of, of getting these cells, I don't recommend it. It washes out your colors in my opinion. I've never had any good results. Um, for the Floetrol, you can see at the top, I've got uh, just a mesh screen on here. This is what tool from Walmart. It's cheap, um, and I've fastened it on there with an ha a hair tie. Um, this will clump up, so you need to make sure you shake it really well, um, but to prevent any of those clumps of getting into your, your bed, you can just create a screen on top, and it will screen out all the, all the goo. Okay, hey, let's start with our first method. Our first method is going to be the traveling cup method. There's a couple of variations on this. You can do an open pour method or you can do a flip cup method. Uh, if you look up um, acrylic pouring on YouTube, you can see a bunch of really cool videos of people doing that. And I think that's where this technique kind of originated from. This specific technique, this traveling cup, is something uh, that I learned uh, from uh, what, uh, Brian Cosley and then Michael O'Hearn as well. Um, I'll drop links uh, down below so you guys can go check out their Instagram and see some of the crazy dyes that they do. But this is how you do it. Um, I've got two mixed up already right now. Um, there's two basic ways you can do it. One is you mix up your dyes in cups and you do it kind of 
in real time and mixed your dyes real time. The other way is you mix up a whole bunch in a squirt bottle um, and then you don't have to worry about ratios or anything really. If you're going to be doing it real time and mixing them in the cups like this, then you have to take into account how much you're actually going to be putting into your frisbee and make sure that you pour enough of the dye into your frisbee um, or your pie pan or whatever you're using for it to fill up enough. If you don't, then here's what's going to happen. You're going to have an awesome bed, you're going to put your push your disc in, and then you're going to end up bottoming out on the bottom, and then you're going to lose all your cells, and it's going to smear like that. So just make sure you're putting enough dye in there. One way I do it is I fill up the Frisbee uh, with water first, and I get it to the depth that I want it to be, and then I slowly pour it into my cups to know how much I need to fill up in each cup to get enough to fill up uh, and make the desired depth in my Frisbee. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, so I've got uh, two cups already pre-mixed just for time's sake, and I'm gonna do one with you right now. So I got, like I said, these cups, you can pick them up anywhere. I got these from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm gonna use Caribbean Blue for this one, and I'm gonna do it with you guys so you can kind of see the ratio I'm using. This is a quarter teaspoon, and I'm just gonna do kind of a heaping teaspoon. Uh, well, a heaping quarter teaspoon, rather. Just like that. See it? That goes in. Okay, now I'm going to use Floetrol. I've already uh, shaken this up um, to make sure it's good to go. First thing I like to do is just pour in a little bit at the bottom um, and then mix that together. You can kind of see the, the amount right here doesn't really matter. I'm just pouring in some so I can mix up that dye. So I'm gonna mix this real quick and then I'll come back and add the rest. Okay, I've got that mixed up pretty good. I don't see any more clumps or anything in there, which is basically what you're looking for right now. You just wanna try to get all the clumps out at the very bottom. Okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and fill this up to my target amount. And I'm wanting somewhere in the ballpark of right at five ounces. I can see it on the side of this cup. It's got the, uh, the amounts written on the side see right there somewhere right at five ounces and I'm gonna stir this up again just to make sure it's all mixed okay I've got my colors mixed up mixed up now I've got the Caribbean blue which is a nice uh, like lighter blue uh, one of the newer colors that have come out a flag blue which is a darker blue and then I've got pansy which is this kind of lighter purple color as you can see um, and then I'm also going to be putting in just, this is straight Floetrol. Um, I'm gonna just put that in so there's some negative spaces. So I'll have some cells where the color of the disc actually shines through. Um, I think this is one of the hardest parts of any type of dye that you're gonna be doing because you have to try to pick colors that are gonna look together. Um, there's tons of YouTube videos out there on picture wheels and finding which colors match. Um, or you can check out some of the links uh, that I have down below of these different artists because they've already figured it out and seen what color schemes go to good go well together and you can kind of use that as a reference or a guide as well um, to figure out which colors you want to use um, okay so um, the next thing we have to do is put in an oil um, this depending on what kind of oil you use you need to be a little careful if you're going to be using a a thinner oil like this uh, artist loft um, or I mean there's even one that you can buy that's kind of like a uh, like a household type of oil and lubricant um, that you can buy at Lowe's if you're gonna use something really thin like this whenever you put it in you don't need a lot you need maybe three or four drops for this amount and you don't want to stir it up a bunch because it's so thin if you stir it up too much you'll have like tiny 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 little cells Whereas this dimethicone is a really thick oil, so it's a little more forgiving. But even then, we don't want to stir it up a whole bunch. So what I'm gonna do is pour some of this in and try to let you see how much I'm putting in. Let me see if I can focus. It's a, maybe this, the, the diameter of about a dime um, it's I, like maybe the, the amount of like an actual pea, like the vegetable, uh, it's not a whole lot. You don't need a ton um, because the Floetrol itself is going to add in the 
uh, creating of cells. So I'm gonna put a little in and then I'm gonna show you how much I stir it, which isn't a lot. Okay, we've got the oil in, grab the stir stick here and I'm just gonna do this. Like, that's about it. You don't need to stir these a whole bunch. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll show you one more with this flag blue. I'm looking and seeing where that oil is. I'm pushing that oil down and then just doing maybe three stirs and that's it. Okay, I'm gonna stir up the next one and I'll get us ready for the next step. Okay, hey, we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and pour our bed. So I'm gonna take this uh, Solo cup or this Dixie cup. You can see this is normally would be like this. I just cut off the bottom of it I'm gonna put it in upside down to where the bottom would be on top And then I'm gonna take this like I said, this is just Floetrol. I did put some oil and uh, some of the dimethicone in this um, but it was Weeks ago and I keep refilling it and just putting a little extra oil in it every time I do it I'm gonna pour some of this just right around the bottom around the cup All right, so we just want that. So what's gonna happen here is as I pour this in, the, you know, the pressure is gonna build up inside of the cup and it's gonna force out into this, this already standing Floetrol. And it's gonna force the cup to actually move around a little while it's doing that. So let's go with the dark blue first. Um, I've tried a bunch of different uh, orders of trying to get certain colors to pop through, but it always seems to end up random anyway. Um, so we're just gonna, just gonna wing it. So I'm gonna pour in some on the bottom here. And then I will go in with another color. You can already see it start to come around or come out from under the fluid shawl. See how the cup's moving? All right, there you go. So you see some cells popping up. Um, when you get to this point, there's going to be uh, still some material left inside of your cup. So you're gonna slowly lift up until you've almost cleared it. And then you can come off kind of at an angle to swoop and make it not look like a solid circle was there. Okay, hey, I've got this uh, blank Fusion Sheriff from Dynamic. Um, you can buy some of their discs that come uh, bottom stamped and they're already wiped on top. Um, I'm sponsored by Discraft, but I mean, these are super handy to use these and this is gonna be for a, a, a buddy anyway. So, um, okay, so same method as, as all the other ones. You go in at an angle. Things what you need to remember when you're pouring or putting your disc in is don't force it down into the die like you might do with some other ones, uh, with some other methods, um, because if you do that, you can wash out the cells. So I'm gonna just nice and easily, easily place it in here. And then after I get it in, um, we're gonna let this sit for 24 hours. I'm not gonna use any heat uh, or anything weird. It's just gonna be a normal, natural, 24 hour soak. Okay, there we go. Um, something you can do is you can go around the edges and if you've got like a really domey disc, just kind of touch each edge nice and easy as around just so the, oops, just so the, um, the bed itself will come up and touch the edge. And then that's gonna be enough contact for that to accept the die. But don't push your disc down into uh, your bed. Okay, so we're gonna let this soak for 24 hours. Now I will see you in a YouTube magic moment. 
Okay guys, it's been 24 hours. We're ready to pull this sucker out. Um, something I wanted to point out for the different methods of dyeing, um, whether you're using glue as a bed or lotion or if you're trying to make cells, um, it's very common for people to waste a lot of material. So you, you pour and use all of this stuff and then you end up dumping it afterwards, right? Well, uh, something I learned at the DDO is you absolutely do not want to do that. You want to reuse this bed and reuse all the material in here to dye two, three, four, five, however many discs afterwards. Um, so I'm gonna pull this guy out and wash it off and while I'm doing that, I want you to watch the bed and watch what happens in the bed. Okay guys, so hey, there you go. Um, I just got this uh, other one washed off. I guess I'll go ahead and let you see it. Um, so here's what that disc ended up looking like. Um, so lots of blue. I mean, if you put in different colors and stuff, you're gonna see a lot more like you did in that force that I showed you earlier. But I mean, we still clearly have cells. Um, you're gonna get a lot more cooler contrast if you use a variety of different colors. Still came out pretty cool though. But the cool thing is, is you still have a very usable bed right here. You could drop another disc in and die and just keep doing it. And every time that you pull it up, uh, it just continues to keep forming more and more cells. So reuse your beds. Um, don't wash this stuff down the drain or anything. Reuse it so you don't end up wasting all your money. Okay guys, hey, that is the traveling cup method. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Um, I'll show you another close up of this disc here. Change the light. We definitely have some cells. Like I said, if you use more contrasting colors, you're gonna get better results. But I mean, we clearly have cells on this disc. Still looks super cool. I talked about reusing your beds. So I wanted to show you an example of that. This is the first generation when I just poured everything in and did the traveling cup. That's what this looked like. And then I reused the bed with this force and it came out looking like this. And then I reused it a third time on this Opto River and it ended up looking like this. Opto, uh, Champion or Z-Line plastic, anything like that, isn't the best for uh, using the cell technique um, for any of them. Uh, but, I mean, you still get some, you can see them in there, but you're gonna have way better luck if you use ESP uh, or Star or something like that. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is actually break this into two videos. Um, I was super long-winded in this one, but I need to make sure you got everything you need to know. Um, if I missed anything, hit me up in the comments. I'll answer them. I, I check them every, try to check them every day, if not every couple of days. Um, and I answer as many as I can. I think I've answered every comment so far. Um, so my favorite dyeing technique for cells is actually gonna be in the next video. So I encourage you to watch that one. Um, if not, use this method, hit me up in the comments, let me know how it went. Uh, so until the next video, throw far, shoot low, and peace.